I've made a terrible mistake. Now, the first mistake was I'm doing something that I said I wasn't going to do. Uh, I said that I wasn't going to play Minecraft, or at least, you know, Minecraft was something that I was just going to just play and not record, uh, because, you know, the editing takes hours, and Minecraft takes hours, and and here we are. We're, we're in Minecraft. I've let myself down. But the, the second thing that I've done, the second thing is that all this, all this I recorded. I recorded planning out this little cattle kit pen that the villagers keep on trying to get into somehow. I, I don't know how this is happening, but anyway. Uh, I recorded this and, you know, I recorded laying out the farm, the first basic farm and laying down all these little blocks and, you know, talking through how it's the start of an amazing village and I recorded starting to make my first storage area as well just a little storage room you know start a storage area and I even had uh, a different recording where I'd, I'd been doing some grinding and I found uh, found a couple of spider spawners like there's four in the one spot it's amazing nope guess what happened with the recordings well, what happens with recordings is that I have new headphones. Uh, and these new headphones, while amazing and really comfortable, have, have different volume settings on the microphone. And yeah, you, you can't hear me. You, you can't hear me at all um, doing any of that. So, uh, so, so you can see, you know, how I got from you know, spawn to uh, to this moment here, then here's a, a very brief video montage. Welcome back. Okay, so yeah, the things are happening. Things have happened. I am holding oak leaves, and now I'm holding birch leaves. Oak, birch. Oh, there's villagers running around, and you know we're we're in this place in this village, and 
you don't even know what's happening here. What what am I doing? Uh, where am I? What's my point in life? Why am I a cat? Mm. These are all valid questions. So let's let's take you on the tour. We are in a village, uh, so it's not too far from spawn. Uh, hang on, let's let's just check that out. Yep, there we go. So yeah, we're uh, if you wanted the seed, I think that's up there somewhere. If you wanted the location and to go play along or catch up or possibly even beat me, who knows? Uh, then you know that that should be all the information you need. And uh, I've I've come here. I've gotten some basic stuff. I have a pickaxe called Silky. And yeah, so I've built this wall around. There's plans for this wall. It's not staying as cobble. This is this is a zombie defense wall, and that's it. And as you saw in the video montage, it wasn't even all that good a zombie defense wall. They just ran over the mountain. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we've got that, uh, and the point here is that I want to expand. I want to build on this village. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be amazing. So yeah, we have just the, the normal villager farm here, but here's mine. I've expanded. Uh, we've got a very large wheat farm that used to uh, to make my cows over there and that gave me some, you know, basic enchanting stuff and, you know, all, all the normal Minecrafty things, right? All the normal Minecrafty things have happened. Uh, and right, tour. Get focus, pooks. Focus. Right. So we have the villager. We've made a wall around it. We have a very basic sugarcane production here. That's going to turn into a redstone farm very shortly. Uh, maybe in the next episode. I don't know. It It's going to be a project, right? Now we have this open area here, uh, which is a bit of a danger in that pillagers can get through, drown can get through, Mobs can get through, right? That's it's not safe for my villagers. So one of my things here is that we're going to fence it off underwater, and then we're going to. Uh, I found an axolotl uh, when I was caving, and so we're going to put him in here. We're going to have the cutest little predator eating all the drowned because they do attack drowned, which is excellent. That is what we want. We want a natural defense force. Uh, so yeah, we have sugarcane and stuff. The sugarcane is disappearing. Uh, as I think I just said, we've got the basics of an enchanting to tower here, or an enchanting table, I should say. That gives me my level 30 enchants, and then we're going to build a big tower here to house that. So that's that's also on the list of projects. Then we have the the basic villager huts. Now, some of these might stay. I might just keep some of them but a lot of them are going to disappear. So we're going to be building on these. You can see the remains of a creeper hole here. Uh, we're gonna be building on these and making a big uh, bustling town here. So there's gonna be heaps of extra breads for the villagers. We're gonna breed them up and we're gonna have a free range, uh, so to speak, villager trading hole. Um, open to the air. We're gonna put down some lightning rods so they don't get zapped and turned all into witches as well. Always a problem. Uh, this area up here is going to be reserved for uh, for my my own castle. So I'm going to build that up to watch over the 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 village below it. So we're going to have a bit of a road going up, maybe to just kind of winding up around the side there, uh, up to the castle or the palace or something that's going to be overlooking. So we're protecting the villagers. Um, this cattle farm, this cattle pen, I, I don't think it's staying. Uh, I think, I think it is going to disappear. And I've just realized that, uh, I've, I turned down the master volume, uh, and not the music volume. That's what I was after there before. So let's, let's put that back up. Done. You'll be able to hear things again. Yep. Sounds of the villages and cows. And the favorite sounds in Minecraft. Right, so this is going to be expanded out. We're going to move that and basically landscape this kind of cliff away from here because I think that's a bit of a source of zombies at the moment. 
the nether portal is here with the boots to you know make sure I don't forget my gold uh, we're gonna insert this further back into the mountain as well so it's gonna go into a cave where the, the meta, nether portal will reside uh, we've got very temporary storage here that's just full of random stuff some of it's valuable some of it's not we've got a spruce tree too uh, hurrah well, basically I, I was building this and I needed some spruce wood and it's either uh, you know a while to travel that way or it's a while to travel up there so I, I just planted some uh, so that's that's gonna happen here now if you're wondering what's happening with the farms as well these are, are kind of I don't want to say temporary because they're not. They're, they're sticking around. These farms are staying here. But uh, I want to say cosmetic. That's the word for them. So they're going to be there purely for cosmetic purposes. These are going to be the, the villagers' farms. And I might even put some compost bins in there so that we have the villagers actually work in the fields as well. Uh, for the time being, all they've got is their little, little space up here for them to work the fields just around here. Uh, but they'll have their own little composting things just so they can self-breed and I don't have to do anything with it. And yeah, so we've got some carrots, we've got some potatoes. Of course, I can harvest these at the moment if I need them. Um, but ultimately, the the things that are going to be farming the most, uh, so our pumpkins and melons, I'm going to build them underground. It's going to be out of sight uh, or maybe in a... Uh, maybe I'll have a special building. Oh, there's an idea actually. I'll have a special building for my redstone con stone contraptions. Uh, now, I should preface here. I've never done redstone before. I am a redstone novice. So, uh, this, this is my first attempt. This is my first attempt at really building something permanent in Minecraft. Uh, so, bear with me. Um, but then we also have our storage room here which uh, is is semi-complete so I've done a little bit of uh, a little bit of detailing on it but I, I I'm not happy with it. it it's something's missing here I think I need some vines I think th I need some things to break this up uh, I think you know I, I like this sort of feel here you know this is starting to look a bit more like it this section here and I kind of like the inside uh, with the hanging lanterns and everything. Uh, I want to build up my storage. I need to chop a lot of wood uh, and put down some carpet in the middle, maybe. Um, so there's still things to be done to really finish off this uh, this particular piece of the build. Oh, look, there's a pig. Um, but what I do like is the gradient that's happening here where we're, we're, we're starting off on the bottom and we're moving our way up to the andesite and the stone up the top uh, and the cobble in the middle and... Uh, I, I forget its name now, uh, but th this stuff uh, in the bottom. And so, yeah, we've we've made a start. Uh, we're going to build up some buildings. Uh, I think maybe some kind of windmill here, maybe. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of wool to do that, but you know, I've, I can build a sheep farm, and that's that's going to be a redstone experiment as well. Is uh, just a trap a sheep with an azerba and some um, some shears in it. I wanted to say scissors, but it's not really scissors. It's shears. Uh, yeah. So things, great things, will be happening. We'll be building this up, uh, and hopefully this time, this time, I won't lose my audio. That would be great. That would be just fantastic. Hmm. What I'm going to do now is uh, is go grind up some resources uh, because I don't have the things for any of these things. Uh, so we're going to go grind some resources. We're going to uh, to maybe put together some of our our first redstone farms and yeah, just just uh, build up some stuff. And then we can start recording uh, again once we're working on our next build or when we're improving our current builds. Um, there's so many things I need to do here. So, yeah, uh, this is a good start, though. And I'm back. And, yeah, so we've been out. We've been about. We've been about uh, a thousand blocks that way. That, uh, that was no fun, trying to find the ocean. And, yeah... It's it's a long way that way. 
hopefully you know there's a different ocean a little bit closer that would be nice but we've got some things so if I switch to my inventory yeah uh, we've got some kelp now kelp's very impossible or very helpful for creating bubble web, el el bubble el elevators which was kind of my plan to go find some kelp to be able to do that I also got some dark oak saplings as well, which is good to have a source of that nearby. We picked up some mushrooms were around as well, some pumpkins, which will be very handy for our farms. We've got a brewing stand as well, so that's that's one more item off, ticked off the list. And we found a bee nest too, which uh, the wax is important for that, so that's great. We'll have bees up and running. Uh, we'll put that down soon, and we'll get some bees, some honey, and some beeswax from that. Uh, what else? We 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 got the mushroom stem, just general red mushrooms. We've got some vines now, so I can put some decorations around. We've got some seagrass. Yeah, we've got all these little supplies that we just didn't have before. Uh, we picked up this from a portal as well, and some glistening in the melon slice. No melons, unfortunately. But, you know, you can't have everything. Uh, and picked up some gold as well, so just abandoned nether portals. Found about four villages as well, like villages everywhere this is a heavily villager populated uh populated seed so and they're all mostly in igloos which i hadn't seen before so that was fun um yeah so uh but one thing that did happen uh, i'm just gonna go and show you is uh is this this happened so on my way out because i don't have a proper gate at the moment peeked over the corner and there was a creeper and it blew a hole in the wall. So, yeah. So that's, uh, I think that settles my first project. We need some proper defenses. And only I am responsible for this wall. wall. The, you know, Minecraft didn't generate this. This is all my bad handiwork. And, and look at it. It's just, it's ugly. So we need to improve our situation here. We need a proper wall with a proper way, uh, way in and out as well. As you can see, a villager's just just derped his way out there and is going to get attacked and eaten probably, but, you know, uh, it's a circle of life. But, uh, so what we'll do, uh, I think, is I'm going to grind up, I'm going to get the materials. Yeah, you want to go home now. You want to go home now. Oh, you even nodded. Okay, just because just you nodded. Here you go, buddy. I'm not doing this for you. Seriously, seriously. You have 30 seconds to comply. Actually, it's 30 seconds is a long time. S sorry, man. It's every man for himself. Uh, winter is coming. Anyway. So, we're going to put a big arch here and that's going to be my main gateway into the village uh, I think I'm going to have another one on the other side just down that way um, and we're going to put a big uh, kind of lookout tower here maybe or something either way it's going to be the wall needs to be at least three th uh, thick because we want to be able to put some turrets on it and a little walkway and some ways up and yeah there's a lot to do on that uh, it's going to take a lot of resources so I'm going to go have to go and grind for these um, and build up those resources. In the meantime, actually, while I've got you, let's let's, uh, let's plant. What do we think? Do we think this is seagrass? No. Oh, we could put a little, we could put a water feature. And that could work. Could uh, put some water here. That maybe, maybe that's my solution. Pot plants as well. I could put flowers around the place. Yes. Okay, it's all coming together. But uh, let's let's just put down a few vines. I don't I don't think I've got any bone meal right now. Uh, I love I'd love to get a skeleton spawner. Uh, so we're just gonna let these grow naturally and uh, see if that improves the the look and feel of the. Yeah, here we go. They're they're growing already growing upwards yeah I think that's that's going to be a big improvement here uh, just on how everything's feeling 
So yeah, we're going to have a few vines, you know, we haven't kept up the maintenance. Um, just to give it more of that, that lived in feel. Um, yeah, so I think that will work well. Okay, so detailing, getting there, still, still not complete. It's something, it's, it's just this big wall. Something needs to break it up. Um, and I don't know what, but maybe, oh, maybe we'll put some, put some barrels there. Maybe that's all we needed. Uh, some barrels to, you know, to house all these these potato plants that I've been jumping on them. Oops. Uh, so yeah, that could, that could work as well. Some, I mean, it is storage shed. Just having stored up against the side there. Yeah, that's 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 what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got our goals. We want to work next on the wall. That's going to be our next project, and then we are going to. I finish off the detailing of this and yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, so I've been mining and I've gotten a few things. I've got a, a Fortune 3 pickaxe now and I've gotten some ores as well. So I've done this a couple of times, but the first time I didn't get any diamonds. Uh, so now it's just a matter of breaking them up and see what we ended up getting. So let's let's build ourselves a little tower and uh, break this up with our Fortune Three pickaxe. I'm just going to sit that one in my inventory, make sure I don't uh, don't pick that up, and yeah, let's uh, let's go. Oh, no, no, go away, go, go, leave, no, 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 you know, it's a, it's a good thing we got to the bottom just as the fandoms were spawning, so, yeah, so we got a lot of redstone, obviously, and we got 26 diamonds, which is good because that's gonna that's gonna turn into that's gonna turn into my diamond armor. Uh, I needed that, so so that I can move on. I can get to more dangerous areas without uh, without the, you know worrying about dying. I mean, I'm not in a hardcore mode, uh, hardcore world, I should say. But you know, it's always preferable to stay alive and to not lose my stuff. There is a faster way of doing this. Yeah. If there is a faster way of doing this, please, someone let me know. All right, so we've got a few blocks out of that mining session, which is good. Uh, more importantly, we've got a lot of stone and a lot of resources, so we can get started on this wall. Now, I've had a few thoughts about this as well. Uh, so I think we're, we're going to go with the same, uh, same sort of palette that I've used for our storage area over here. And so we're going to go, uh, we're not going to go with the vines. Uh, I don't want there are basically creepers or any zombies or anything being able to go up those vines. Look at this. It's overgrowing already. Uh, can, can I get rid of this? Is there a way? Can I just axe it? Yeah, I can axe it off. Uh, so the way to stop it doing that is with string, I believe. So let's go find some. Uh, yeah. So, string, you can see where I've done a little bit here, doesn't show up so much or you don't notice it, uh, but of course because it's there, it can't grow over the, the block, so it stops it from going overgrown. So that's a good way to, ooh, uh, good way to control the vines. Now I did make a mistake with that in that my villagers now all think they're fishermen. Uh, so that that needs to stop at some point. I need to do something about that. N uh, not going to be today because I want to keep it there for the time being. But I have a lot of villager fishermen, and they're just trampling my potatoes, and it's the whole place is a mess. Uh, it's just caused a mess. 
but yeah, so we'll uh, we've got our blocks. We've got a lot of resources here, and we've got more down in the the, the branch mine itself. Uh, so we'll be getting to that. And the other thing that I've realised that I need is I'm I'm just dropping my unsmelted materials in here for the time being, but I am going to need uh, some some uh, some kind of smelting device, something to smelt things down. So I wonder if you can uh, smelt a whole block, or if that's that's not possible. That'd be that'd be interesting to find out. Anyway, so we've got a heap of gold, and more importantly, the diamonds. So let's uh, let's just go craft that up now. Make our chest plate. I've already uh, I've already got boots. And I've already got a helmet somewhere as well, so we're just going to make the chest plants and plate and pants. Here's at my helmet. Uh, grab some lapis. We've already got some on me as well. Uh, oh, I probably want another diamond sword because this one's this one's nearly gone. Uh, it's a nice little looting sword. Uh, it's not as good as it could be, of course, but it's uh, it's the best that I have, so let's just store that in there, and we might just use our remaining. Uh, use a couple of diamonds here. Do I have some sticks? Yeah, got some sticks. Um, just to get ourselves a fresh diamond sword, and we can go and enchant that up as well. But that also gives me a little bit of a reserve of diamonds, which is good. We've got some some in reserve. Uh, which shall be handy, I'm sure. But let's let's go see. Oh, actually, before I go, let's just pick up the books. And the other thing I want to make is a bow. Uh, so let's get those. And I've just got to remember the recipe. I think it's this. Yeah, here's our bow here. All right, so we've got a bow now. We're going to chat that up as well. So let's go over to our enchanting area. In case you were wondering, the enchanting did not go well at all. But, you know, I did end up with full diamond. So that's that's a thing at least. Hurrah, full diamond. Now, we we can do some things with this. We can go to the nether. We can do, do a lot of things. But I think the next thing that we're going to work on, uh, as promised, uh, I keep promising this, in fact, is this wall. So for my design, I'm going to go with the, the palette that I'm, I'm using here, but we're, we're also going to upgrade it. Uh, we want some greenery in some pot spots, but obviously I'm not using those vines. Uh, and we're going to go with some a wooden walkway up the top, I've decided, some lanterns overhanging as well, just to light up the outside and just you know make it look pretty. Uh, oh, I still haven't done my axe. Uh, I should go and chat that as well. Hopefully I can get an unbreaking or an efficiency on it. Um, and yeah, so I will see you once with we have done some things. Oh, right. So that's... Nope, nothing extra. That's all I get. Really bad luck on the enchanting table today. Alright, so I will see you once uh, once we uh, have this wall underway. Okay, so we're back again, and with some progress has been made. And as you can see, uh, I've done this part of the wall. Uh, I haven't done any of the other surrounds, so uh, just past this this villager house here is where we. We really still haven't finished. Um, now it's not yet three across, and the reason for this is because I want to make sure that I'm I'm getting it right. I don't want to have to come back and redo this entire wall, or the detailing of it, or the, the base textures, because that would be a lot of work and a lot of resources, and uh, also I've run out of cobble already. I've, I've run out already. I've got plenty of stone, uh, just not cobble, which is unfortunately what most of this is made out of. I think I'm also going to run out of tough. So, hmm. Um, and I'm also going to have to harvest up some oak logs for this as well. I, I was originally thinking spruce, and I think it's too dark. Uh, I want a kind of a lighter feel to this, so... 
Yeah, so I've got all these spruce staircases that I've got nothing to do with. Uh, but, hmm. but, yep, okay, so this is our, uh, the temporary scaffolding here. Uh, yeah, and just punch this dirt out of the way. So we're going to go across and we're just going to go up and, and do this sort of thing and go around the edge of our walls. I think this is going to fill into a beer pond or something. Uh, now, one of the benefits here, though, of putting the stairs like this is that I believe I'll be able to put vines and things uh, without having the risk of mobs climb up so that little overhang should stop them. And it should also serve the practical purpose of stopping spiders from climbing over too. So that's a bit of a win uh, there. So I can, I've got a little, a little bit more choice in blocks and just making things spread out a little bit more. Uh, but in the meantime, I do have, uh, I need to go find some oak trees to cut down. Fortunately, I'm in uh, plenty of them around, which is good. Uh, and to make a heap of staircases to run along the edge of here, I need to make a heap of, of fences, although I do have more of those. And yeah, that will, that will allow us to do this. And then we just put our stone blocks in the middle. And then finally, uh, what I'm thinking, and I just don't have the blocks here. Uh, we're gonna go in and get it. Uh, no. Uh, now I actually do want to experiment with this one, so you can watch me do that. Uh, that's okay. Lanterns. I know I have lanterns. Oh, maybe I use them all. I've got iron though, so I'm gonna find out iron. I've been smelting some up, and yeah, here we are. I've got some iron now. I'll go to a crafting bench. And we'll just put some blocks away. I, w I did have plans for stone bricks as well. Ah, oh, that was my plan. I've, I've gone... Cause I want to do the walkway up here. Ah! I fell. I want to do a bit of a walkway up here as well. In, so that either, either requires it going one higher or maybe stone slabs. I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Mr. Villager? Hmm. But also we're going to use some trapdoors. So we're just going to put these on for some detailing maybe. Uh, maybe not all the time. Maybe I can't use a spruce really because that's a different style. Maybe I'll find some birch. It would be a good use of birch. And yeah, so let's... Let's just think this through here. So I had planned to, to maybe, no, no, that's not what I want. Yep, so we get that little, that little of, uh, out effect here. I'll work this out later on. Maybe, maybe I just need to dig these up and put the, the cut stone in its place. Maybe I'll save that for elsewhere. Uh, I don't know yet, but uh, we want some iron nuggets, and then we want a torch in the middle, I think, and that's going to give us a lantern. There we are. Uh, excellent. So we'll get a few of those torches. There we are. Get some more lanterns. Now you can trade with these, these with villagers, which I think will be the faster way in future. But, for the time being, uh, let's just go see how this looks. Oh, I need to put it up top. That's all right. And... Might not be uniform spacing, but that's okay. Uh, that's fine. We'll put another one. And just jump up.
get my sword out just in case I get attacked while I'm out and about, especially by a creeper, that would be bad. Put my shield on. Yeah, and that, that just gives a kind of, I, I want to say a friendly wall, but not really, because, you know, a wall is never really friendly, but it's it's kind of like a village wall. It's nothing, nothing serious fortifications, but it's uh, something that a village could be expected to produce and build up. And yeah, I really like the, the little light effect here from the lanterns. So I think that will work well. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, I do want to mix it up with the birch trapdoors as well, just so that we've got some different colours happening here as well. I'd love to have some moss, moss blocks, but I would need to go find those. And, um, yeah, that's that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, but, yeah, that should give us a really good start. Great. Okay. Things are happening. We've, progress is being made. Yes. All right, so we're just going to sleep through the night. We'll save that villager from dying to a zombie. And when we wake up, we'll have progress. Okay, progress has been made. Now, I, I honestly don't think I'm going to finish this wall uh, or the entire wall in this episode because this, this is a lot of work uh, that goes into this. And I know that I need more cobble, so that means more mining. Uh, more mining for cobble uh, to be able to finish off even the basics of the wall and um, you know but you, uh, there's still the back um, call me green but I haven't finished the back uh, so yeah um, well what what we've got so far so we've got these torches I really like this arrangement I put down some vines I've stringed it out so it's not going to uh, to spread too far. I think I missed this. Yep, there we are. Uh, so that means it shouldn't spread all along the walls. It's just going to be restricted to its little areas. Unfortunately, I can't bone mill it to make things grow faster. Um, all right. Uh, if, if anyone knows a trick on how to get that to grow faster, I would be interested here. Uh, but yeah, we've got these happening. And then around the corner, we've got more of it happening. Then some of it's going to come on a diagonal, those vines. So we'll see how that looks. Uh, if I don't like it, I can always shear it off. Um, and yeah, and I've missed deliberately a couple of things, uh, spaces here as well, just to make it look, uh, I guess, a little bit less regular. Uh, I think I'm going to take this one out too. Oh, yeah, there we are. Um, so that way it's not too uniform and it, you know, it makes a bit more sense like it's not just newly freshly constructed wall. It's, a, it's something where you know, a few lanterns have gone missing and that sort of thing. Uh, so I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, you know, I'm pretty chuffed. Now it's, it is missing taller buildings in the background and the roof. So once we get that happening, or once we get more buildings in here, it'll look a little bit more, I guess, interesting. Because uh, at the moment, it's, it's just a wall. We all we have is a wall. Uh, also, what we do need to build is our archway or our entrance to the village, which is going to be happening over here, uh, and off less less of a cliff as well. Uh, so that'll be a, a big arch over here with a big iron gate. I think I'm going to put a little sally port as well, and that'll be our main way of in and out uh, because I don't want to have to. Uh, to uh, break my way out of an iron gate and maybe at some point I'll put some redstone in and we'll see how we can go with creating a door. Uh, I'm not confident with that at all. Um, but yeah, here's, here's the start of it. And so we can sit up here, safe from the zombies, safe from the creepers. I hope if, if a creeper blows a hole in this, um, I'm not gonna be happy. Um, but yeah, the, they won't be able to climb up the vines and they're just going to chill out under there and not bother us. Or more importantly, not bother our villagers either. And then when the daylight comes, of course, they'll wander out, they'll get stuck in the light. And uh, I think, oh, I think my villager may have been zombified. No, he's, he's still, still surviving. 
Hang in there. Oh no. Oh, oh. Now, now we're, now we're both in trouble. I'm saving you, villager. I swear, I swear I wasn't just leading them to you, then accidentally fell off. Uh, yeah, so I think this is a really good start. And uh, that's all for this episode. This is where I'm going to cut it. Um, because, as I said, there's, there's a lot of work that goes into this. And I need to, to, to cut it off at some point. And, oh, it's a baby. Baby zombie. Oh, here's the ultimate test. Will a creeper... I'm not hearing it. This is a good sign. Creepers will not explode while I'm up here. Fantastic. So, I'm not even sure if I do want to do like an interior of the wall like this. It's only a village wall, so too deep might be good enough. But that does mean that I, I do need to redo the interior slightly as well. Uh, so, I need to, to go down here because at the moment... All we're staring at is cobble, and you know there's even bits where this is still this is still dirt, so that needs to be cleared up too. Um, yeah, I I think I mm, yeah, and all this is just it's just flat stone. Of course, there may be buildings. Oh, we could have buildings built up against the wall too. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Uh, hang on. There's, so there's going to be a building here because I want to close this in. A little path maybe and then a couple, like a stable or something. That could work. And yeah, yeah, that 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 could work out well. Alright, so change of plans. We're not going three deep, uh, which is going to be good for the resources front. And all we need to do is probably detail the inside of it as well uh, so that... So it's not just looking really dull. Uh, but ultimately we get our, our nice little detail effect uh, on the outside here, which is a bit unfortunate that we won't actually be seeing it. Now, this this villager here, he's going to lose his house. I'm just saying it flat out, straight up. He, he's losing his house. It doesn't work with a wall. Uh, his house is going to turn into maybe a little guard room. I'm just going to put some light up here. Uh, so that, yeah, um, a little guard room or a tower just right next to the gate. That that can be where our sally port goes as well. And then we can arch it over there so that we've got our way in and out without having to do, uh, revert to, well, why we haven't got our redstone door. And then um, it can be a, an open portcullis. And yeah, this... This is all sounding pretty promising, uh, but that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. This is my first Minecraft video, which I promised not to do, and it's happening anyway. Uh, so, oh, got to get used to the controls in this mode when I'm just staring at myself. Otherwise, I'm just going to walk off the wall and be eaten alive by zombies. Not good. But on that note, uh, thank you for watching. Peace out.